Hi, and welcome to this video on quadratic patterns, part two, brought to you by the answer series. There are four examples in this video, and in each case, you are going to pause the video and do the example on your own first, and then I will go through it with you. But before we do that, I want to go through the hints and a few reminders. So to start with, remember always to work out the first and second differences. In this case, you will have to do that in terms of x. Equate the second differences because they are constant. When you are working with an example like example one, be very careful, more hastily speed, because if you make any mistakes with the negative signs, you are going to end up with a very complicated set of mistakes, which are difficult then to go back and fix. So more haste, less speed. Pause the video. Okay, so how did you do? Did you realize that you simply had to take the second term and subtract the first term? And if you did that carefully, you would have got x minus 4. Then you had to take the third term, subtract the second term to get 2x minus 9. And finally, you had to take the fourth term, subtract the third term to get x plus 8. So three different first differences that are not equal. However, when we take the second first difference and subtract the first one, we get the same answer as when we take the third first difference and subtract the second one. So setting up that equation, being very careful with the signs, we work out that x is equal to 11. 11 is not a term in the sequence. It is the value that helps us to generate the terms. So when we are asked to work out in the following question what the values are of the terms, you're simply going to take 11, substitute it to get 12. Take 11 again, you're going to get 33, minus 8, which is 25, and then finally you're going to get 44. So when asked what the terms are, simply substitute the value of x. Okay, moving on to question 1.3. Pause the video if you need to and check your answer. Example 2 has challenges, but pause the video and then we'll go through it together. We have two unknowns because we don't know the first term and neither do we know the fourth term. We have the values of the second, third and fifth terms only. So we go back to basics. We subtract the terms, so we create these differences, which we know are not equal to each other. That is our first difference row. When we subtract those differences, we end up with second differences and these results are all equal to each other. Select carefully. It's obviously better to have an equation with one unknown, y equals minus 11. Minus 11 is not a difference, it is a value in the sequence. With that value in the sequence, we can easily work out the second difference because we already know that the second difference can be y plus 13 or minus 2y minus 20. So substituting into either y plus 13 or into minus 2y minus 20 in both cases, the answer will be 2. To work out the value of the first term, we have a look at what we've done and we notice that x minus 8 is the second difference in terms of x and we know the second difference is equal to 2. So equating those two results gives us x equal to 10, which in this case is the value of the first term. Pause the video, check your answers to 2.3 and when you're ready, we'll do example 3. Okay, it's going to start at a very easy level and then you'll have to think a little bit harder. Pause the video and see how far you can get. When you're ready, we will go through this together. Find a formula for the general term of this pattern. We have all the information we need. So we work out our first differences, use them to work out the second difference. Then set up your second difference equal to minus 6 and solve for A. Use your result and solve for B. Use both results and solve for C. We know that our formula is minus 3n squared plus 2n plus 5. To work out t21 minus t20 is simply substitution. So you can do that in one go on your calculator or you can show your steps. So to get the 21st term, 
you substitute 21 to get the 20th term, you substitute 20, you subtract the results, and the difference between those terms is minus 121. Now in 3.3, the question asks us to find a formula that will generate those differences between the terms, the first differences. So we start by looking at the first differences, which we've worked with earlier, minus 7, minus 13, minus 19. This is a simple linear pattern. The coefficient is the difference between those terms. So the coefficient of n is going to be negative 6. And then by inspection, we are simply going to work out that if we substitute 1, negative 6 is not the same as negative 7. We have to subtract 1 to work that out. If you don't enjoy inspection, you can go back to the formula a n plus b, substitute the negative 6 immediately because that is the coefficient of n. And then by substitution, you can substitute minus 7 for the term value, 1 for the position, and work out from this equation that b is equal to negative 1. In 3.4, we are just going to substitute our n value, which is the difference that they're asking us to work out. The 20th first difference is literally just substitution into the formula that we worked out in 3.3. In 3.5, we are being asked to explore the relationship between the answers to 3.2 and 3.4, and you will have noticed in both cases those answers are the same. So the deduction that we're going to make is that the 20th difference is the same result as T21 minus T20. And that's very important. Any difference that you work out always has an n value of the lower positioned term. So the fifth difference will be the difference between the sixth and the fifth terms. If that was getting too easy, example four will challenge you to be sure. So think about the basics. It's as simple as A, B, C, and see if you can crack this question on your own when you're ready. I will go through it with you. So what are we going to do about the fact that we have so little information? We are going to set this up the way that we always work with our information. So we would like to have a first term, which we don't have. We would like to have a second term. In fact, we have very few terms. Eventually, they give us a term. T12 is 180. So we're going to write in here 180. Now, we know that A plus B plus C is usually associated with the first term. So this blank is a little bit worrying. But there's not much we can do about it. 3A plus B is the value of first difference, which we need to get our hands on. And the first difference is going to be T2 minus T1, which means it's going to be 2 times 1 plus 6, because the n value in the formula is the lower n of the two terms. So our first, first difference is going to be 8. The next first difference is going to be the same calculation again, but now we are going to work with 2 when we substitute, so we will get 10. Without knowing any terms, because of the first difference formula basically being given, we can actually work out that the value of 2a is equal to 2. So working backwards, we can still work out that a equals 1. We can use the 1, substitute into the formula, and work out that b equals 5. And now, by being creative, we can't work with a plus b plus c because we don't know what the value is, but we can still use different variation on that theme. We can work out this term value is T12. So if we use 12 into the quadratic formula Tn equals An squared plus Bn plus C, we are going to substitute A equal to 1 and at the same time we're going to substitute N equal to 12. So we're going to have 12 squared is 144 times 1 then we are going to substitute b equal to 5 and n equal to 12 to get 60. We're going to add c, and that answer has to be 180. So c is going to equal minus 24. So we now know that the formula for this is tn equals n squared plus 5n minus 24. 
So with that information, we can work out our first term value, because the first term will be 1 plus 5 minus 24, which will give us minus 18. That is very nicely written up. So pause the video, make sure you understand everything. And when you get a question similar to this, hopefully you will take it in your stride. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by the Answer Series. Check out the video description below for practice questions from our study guides. If you found this video useful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new episodes. Follow us on Instagram or Facebook to stay on top of the latest TAS news and launches. So that's it for now from The Answer Series, your key to exam success.